Hello, welcome to Studio Pixel Volkswagen Car Modeling Chapter 3. Okay, then move on to the back fender. I'll just uh, create the base, create the base, and now we'll continue with the middle portion of the back fender so that it has its uh, support curve to create the surface. Adjust according to your requirement of the shape from different view this is very important that you uh, uh, reshape or adjust the vertices at the curve level so that when you create the surface it won't affect that much or you don't have to manipulate uh, the very deep level <coughs> so That is fine. Okay. So just save the project and now we'll start with the start with the roof post and the door post area. Just make sure that you snap with the curves and we'll adjust from the top view, of course. Select the vertex and just move inner ways. Just push it inside. That's it. Fine, and adjust the back portion again. Put it outside according to my reference. Fine. So just uh, rearrange the vertices. Fine. Just to make sure it's match with the reference. <coughs> That's it. And you always look for the 3D view so that you can understand it now create the hood portion with the curve tool sorry the arc tool I use this arc tool for, for creating this kind of half curves because that is very effective and easy Fine. now we'll uh, concentrate on the roof post this is the roof post area so I'll just create that roof post and you can see this is not exactly what I wanted so I have to readjust the vertex from the front view so it will maintain the desired shape of the car just make your intuition and there's a then again I to connect the hood, I'll just make the basic connections. Also, just mirror down the outline so that of the front fender. Sorry. So the front fender. Again, uh, just uh, make sure that uh, the hood portion is equally mirrored. I mean properly, so that when you are joining with the both parts, it won't affect your, you know, model alignment. push fine fantastic just to make sure from the top view that the outline is actually matched fine okay so 
now I just uh, create the in between uh, lines to support the surface uh, if I don't use these uh, curves then it will not going to you know understand how the surface will behave so there I just mash a slight slanted surface that's it and for this part just uh, this will be the adjustment okay so so that's it and we'll move on to the next chapter hope you understanding these processes hope you follow this tutorial thank you very much